Good evening, Doctor. My name is Kai Xiang and I'm from Section 7. So now I'm going to present my web programming project. First of all, I would like to introduce my database. So there's three tables in my database. Orders, which store the information of order and delivery address. And phones, store the information of phones and users store the information of users register. Inside order, there are two foreign keys, which is phone ID, refer to phones and ID, and user, refer to users and username. So this is the template that I have chosen from Start Bootstrap, and the team is Grayscale. So in this template, there is some space for us to insert our image and also some descriptions. So now let's go to the website that I have designed. So in order to access the page, we have to log in first. Once we log in, we can see that our username appear here, and this an online phone store. So here's some description, and here's the brands that are available in this store, and their feature product too. I've added a search bar here, which is a real time search bar where user can search anything here. No result. Eleven, iPhone Eleven Pro. So this a menu page where user can search the phone here also. Samsung, iPhone. Okay, let's say I want to order iPhone Eleven Pro. I have to input the quantity first. So this subtotal price is calculated in real time. Eleven, the price will change, and here's a promo code. Promo code input so this is the promo code I set before it's happy we can see that the price has reduced and we will enter our order information place order so order is successful now I'd like to introduce my render page so I have to key in the password first which is 4321 I set it before and welcome to render page in this page we can see that these two fonts are featured and they are in red in color. So I, we can update the details here, anything, phone name, price, quantity, description, and the image. So let's say we change it to 2000 and we don't want to feature it anymore. And update, update was success. If we go to the main page again, we will see that the iPhone 11 Pro is no longer here. Uh, we can insert new phone too. Uh, let's say iPhone 12. The price is around 5,000. Quantity is 100. Description A, B, C. We we'll upload a, um, an image. Insert. So new phone is added. So this is our new phone. If we go to the menu page, we can see that the new phone is here. So we can delete it also. So the phone was deleted. So one more thing to add, uh, there are 6 phones in my database which are 3 iPhones and 3 Samsungs. So that's why in the menu, we can also view 6 phones. So this is the view order page where here is all the orders that I have received. So like in this table, I have 3 orders, so here are 3 orders. Here is some input that we can use to sort our searching. So let's say today is 18th of June of 2020. So we can see that here is the order I've placed just now. And there's a status here. So the status now is pending. I can change it to delivered. So once I change it to delivered, we refresh in the database, the status is changed to delivered too. So if I search with the status pending again, there will be no result. If I change it to delivered, so here is the delivered order. I can change it to complete and research. So this is the completed order. So here's some extra thing that I can view the order summary and it shows my total sales. So it can show my total sales. So let's say I want to search my sales for today, 18th of June 2020 search. It is so it shows that um, I've sold 11 iPhone 11 Pro today. I faced some problem while doing this project. So the first one is, 
in the template given there's over 10,000 lines of codes in the CSS file so it's very difficult for me to understand besides I have to understand some jQuery too so to solve this problem I have to go to Stack Overflow and Google to find for the solution so that's all for my presentation thank you